All right, hello. Uh, I made a synth. Yeah. Uh, so another uh, another one from the Fritzing Creator Kit. This is probably my favourite one of all because I just love electronic music. Uh, and uh, I made a synth. It's not a Moog, but uh, still, it's a synth. Uh, a couple of potentiometers and a little. Well, you can hardly call it a speaker. It's a buzzer. I have to get a bigger one and rock the house. Anyway, uh, so two potentiometers down here. This one is controlling the pitch, uh, highness and lowness of the musical note, and this one is controlling the L F O. Du, 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 du. Um, yeah, low frequency oscillation, which is basically a kind of rhythmic pulse, and it's also an absolutely classic 12 inch from way back in 1990 on Warp Records. And yes, that is the original 12 inch right there from my beloved record collection. Uh, yeah, I made a synth. Anyway, uh, the code is quite complex on this one. I'll talk through that a little bit later on, but let's let's see this little baby synth anyway, see what she does. E -e -e. Now, okay, so I've got pitch and the LFO both set low at the minute. So I'll jiggle around with the LFO a bit first, you'll hear it. And as you get a little bit higher, it starts to begin to glitch out. And then it just glitches completely. It's a nice fun around that total glitch point. Anyway. Uh, I could do two hands to do this and jiggle around both of them. If we change the pitch slightly. And the LFO is doing some good form with the LFO. Particularly like it around that glitchy point. speak and really freak the neighbours out. Could do a little far far behind it, but anyway, um, <laughs> good fun. Um, let me just turn that off because it's probably annoying it. Just uploading an empty sketch there. Yeah, savage. Uh, so yeah, that's a synth. I'll have a quick look at the uh, breadboard layout. Uh, mine will look slightly different because I've got all my stuff laid out on a new little bit of kit that I got from Hobby Parts and Supplies on eBay. They're really good. A uh, little wooden base plate, really nicely made. Uh, I thought I think they deserve a little plug. Hobby Parts and Supplies, you'll find them on eBay. Um, really, really nice little board actually. Um, and it was ridiculously cheap, it was only about 13 euro with the postage from the UK and everything, so I'm happy with that. So there's your plug. There we go. Uh, right, let's have a quick look at this. I don't want to go too deep into the code because it's a pretty complex one, but anyway, we'll have a look at the, the breadboard layout. Um, so where will we start? Let's go with the buzzer first of all. So on pin 8, just there, we've got that set to output, so that's go going plus 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 into the buzzer through the resistor. And then it's grounded out here. Okay, and then back to ground just to complete the the loop the shoot. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Okay, obviously we've got another positive coming in here onto this positive rail here. Okay, and that's coming over to the positive side of each of the potentiometers, grounding back here on the common ground rail, and the middle pin is what actually sends the input into analog input obviously not digital analog input zero and one so it's a nice tidy little uh, little circuit uh, the code as i said maybe i don't have the scope in this tutorial to go into too much detail on it um if you've got a fritzing and uh, download their software you can have a proper look at the code and everything um so very quickly then um well quickish so i'll stop wobbling uh, the buzzer pin is set on 8, okay, and that's set to output down here. 
Okay, so that's supplying the juice for the buzzer. Uh, potentiometer pin is on analog zero. That's still going to be the pitch. And the potentiometer uh, going into analog one. That's going to be for the L F O. Uh, tone height is what's basically going to represent pitch, and L F O is going to represent L F O. Um, there, we don't have values there because that's done later on. Uh, okay, setting the pin mode to output for the buzzer on that line nine there. Uh, and then this is tiny because uh, this is the first one of the videos I've uploaded where we're actually creating our own method. This one's called play and it takes the value pitch level. Uh, so basically this is what produces the kind of oscillation. Okay, digital rise, buzzer pin high. Okay, basically it turns on the buzzer. There's a delay in microseconds. Um, feeding in my pitch level again um, and then the buzzer turns off and then another delay right. um, and down here is where some interesting stuff happens uh, so this is where we get the actual values for the pitch tone height analog read pin one because remember at the top of the program okay tone height and LFO didn't have values those values are coming from the potentiometer okay through reading the analog pin okay for each okay so that's where the data is coming in uh, and then we've got a loop which is basically when the tone height is rising okay then the play method that we declared up here is called or executed and we feed in the value of tone height Okay, so that's basically what goes in there. And go. and okay, there's a little delay as well. And then this second loop is for when the tone height's sinking, depending on the LFO. And again, we pass the tone height value into uh, that play method at the top. Now, it's a slightly complex bit of code, and I probably don't have the scope here in a nine or ten minute video to go into it as much as I could or should but as I said if you go on to Fritzing uh, I think it's fritzing.org and actually download their software it's free and all um, you can get if you open an example you can get all of the examples okay for all the ones I've gone through and more um, that go with the creator kit and they have the breadboard layout even a schematic what it would look like on an actual circuit board and the code which has some kind of nice notes um, explaining things in a bit more bit more detail and it's explained in even more detail in the booklet which goes with the creator kit uh, but I'm looking at the video and it's eight minutes long already so um, I won't go into too much more about that um, yeah it's a cool little cool little thing with this actually it's really cool you can even um, use this code editor here and link it to your uh, Arduino software and um, you know upload straight from there it's a very very tidy tidy little thing but for now let's make some sweet music so synthesizer really really a nice one <laughs> 